Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hope you are enjoying your hump day. <laughs> I am getting a massage today, so I'm super excited. <laughs> but look at my lip gloss. Look at this. It's from Shana Mokler. I don't know if you know who she is, but she was uh, Miss USA. And she has this makeup line. And so she sent me this lip gloss, which I love because it has sparkle in it. So good morning, everybody. Hello. Hi, Andy. Andy, are you jealous of my lip gloss? <laughs> good morning, Susan. Hi, Dawn. Hi, everybody. Nice to see everybody coming in, piling in. There we go. Welcome, welcome. Listen, this is definitely going to be inspirational, motivational because it's Wednesday. So anything to get us through the day. <laughs> um, today we are going to talk about are you being controlled, right? I'm just noticing the, oh, the massage, Andy. <laughs> Good morning, Tracy. Good morning. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Good morning, Laurel. So, Tracy, I got my eye cream. Uh, I'll let you know if I look 10 years younger <laughs> in about a week. <laughs> um, all right, so let, let's get started. Let's talk about are you being controlled? Um, you know, just in the classes and all that I've been teaching and working with and the clients, there's kind of this theme, this common theme that I'm starting to notice and that is people are holding themselves back um, because they're afraid of what other people are going to think or other people are saying things to them. And, you know, this is crazy. I, I get that we're all different. I get that maybe um, some people have religious backgrounds or different perspectives and, and all of that. But we, we can't, um, <laughs> Kelly says if the eye cream works, she wants it. Um, but we can't, we can't sit there and be holding ourselves back from living our fullest potential because of other people. Um, I'll tell you what, I make people upset all the time. Oh, all the time. Oh, oh you should see the things they say about me. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, I don't care. Like, I don't care because when we feed into it, we're going to limit ourselves. We're not going to surrender. We're not going to be fully in our own power. And isn't that what they want? You know, whether that's your family or your spouse or, you know, bosses are great at it. They love that. Bosses love to control. Honestly, your peers love to control, right? Your peers. Because, you know... Everybody doesn't think there's enough for everybody else. And of course there's enough. Good morning, Leilani. Good morning. Of course there's enough. And there's enough wealth, abundance, happiness for us all. Okay? And when we can kind of step into our own path and our own way and really just let go of the control of other people, you're going to have such a sense of happiness, such a sense of contentment, fulfillment, peace. There's such an inner peace about it um, that it's truly, it's like a weight's been lifted off your shoulder because you don't feel like you're hiding anymore, right? Because when you can't stand in your power, right? When you can't fully be who you are and fully, you know, so whether that, you know, whether that is outrageous or quiet or funny or you want to try something new, whatever it is, if you're holding yourself back, what's going to happen is you're going to feel like you're kind of keeping a secret from the world, right? It's, uh, well, if they saw this, they wouldn't like it. Well, who cares? Who cares if they don't like it? Then they're not your people. <laughs> it's like, go away. <laughs> Get out of my shadow. <laughs> That's all. So when that happens, I want you to be like, get out of my shadow. Because this is your time. You know, you've got this life. You've got this experience. And it isn't about watching whose toes you're stepping on because you don't want to make them upset. Right? 
you know, you see it a lot in, and you see it with people, especially trying to explore their own gifts or step into um, their own messages and their own power and their own uh, sixth sense and all of that fun stuff. But even in the day to day life, we're letting other people tell us how to behave, how to act, what's acceptable, you know, and if it's too much. And so we're, we're constantly monitoring ourselves. But if you're monitoring yourself, then you're not in the moment. You're not feeling present, you know, and those things will start to weigh on you. It will start to feel heavy, right? Good morning, Leanne. Good morning. So show me some hearts if you've experienced that. Show me hearts if you're in a situation or you know what they had. They're coming quick. <laughs> you know, or you know what it's like to feel controlled or feel that you're holding yourself back because of something else or someone else's opinion. You know, when we start to worry more about what others are thinking of us than us fulfilling our own happiness we're really getting stuck, okay? We're really getting in a pickle. And you're just going to end up really feeling kind of down and depressed and empty and all of those things because you, you know you're not living in your own purpose. So there, I love it. See, thank you. I love the hearts. I love the happies. Give me the emotion. It makes me feel good. So, you know, look at your life and look at what areas. So, you know, maybe it's not all areas. Maybe it's certain areas, right? Um, a lot of times in uh, relationships when there's children, right, that the wife, you know, really lets go of any personal life she has because she's either working all day, then going home to her kids, and then she stays with them at night, and then the guy kind of can go out with his buddies, right? What what happened to her space? What happened to her being happy? You know, it's so we have to, that's just one example. I mean, there's, good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Mary. There's many examples of instances let's say you you know you want to take a class or you want to uh get your degree but your family says oh you're too old what are you doing that for who cares who's to say you're too old it doesn't you're never too old you're never too old to do what you want to do okay and and i know that there's responsibilities and i know that sometimes you know it's easier said than done for sure but when we can really truly say, you know what, I'm not going to worry about what other people are thinking. I'm not going to let their fear, right, their insecurity, their jealousy, I'm not going to let their emotions control me. Because I'll tell you what, we talked about the naysayers. They, we talked about the naysayers. They're always going to be out there. They're always going to want to poo-poo on your parade and make you look bad or say things about you because you don't fit into what they believe is right. You don't fit into their perception. So let it go, let it go, right? Oh, uh, that's it, 58, who's gonna hire you? Exactly, Dawn, see, and, and the thing is, is, so what happens is you don't put yourself out there because you're listening to your husband, right? You got to put yourself out there. You got to just do it. You know, you won't know if someone will hire you at 58 if you don't try, if you don't give it the effort. But when we push ourselves outside of our comfort zone, you'd be amazed at what doors the universe will open up for you. Okay. But it really is our own fear our own worry that someone won't like us or they won't accept us or they won't accept us, right? That's a, you know, and you know, we all want to be, we all want to be loved and we all want to be accepted and we all want to be validated. But you know what? We want those things for who we are, right? Not for what box we're fitting in, to fit someone else's perspective of how we should talk, walk, act, and all of those things, right? So, exactly, Tracy, that's right. Oh, I love the soap. Okay, so Dawn, you're going to send me candles and soap. <laughs> then I have lip gloss, and I have some eye cream. I've got some coffee coming from Andy. <laughs> 
I'm good. Now, here's the thing, you guys. This is your chance. All right, this is your chance. You don't know when you're going to get another one. We can't keep taking these things for granted. We can't keep taking time for granted. You know, you keep thinking, I'll do it next year. You know, I'll do it when I have more time. I'll do it when the kids are older. You may not have that time. You may not be given it. We, we can't keep going and taking things for granted. And... If these people are in your life and they are judging you or they're holding you back, right? At the end of the day, what kind of relationship do you truly have with them? I mean, let, let, I'm going to tell you about my family, all right? I was a tax accountant. And then I had to go tell my family, listen, I'm going to go give up a six-figure a year job so that I can talk to dead people. Is that cool? <laughs> Yeah. And you know what? Do you know what? Not one person, never one person in my family has said, don't do it. You're making a mistake. Stop. Not one. Now they may think I'm crazy. That's, I, that's okay. But thinking I'm crazy is fine. You know, they just didn't get in the way. They didn't stop me. They didn't discourage me. So Look at what people are saying, you know, look at your social media. It's okay to have different opinions, but look at the people around you. If there's people around you that are being discouraging in an unhealthy way, right? If they're being naysayers in a way that is not healthy for you, then you need to let go of it. You don't need them on your social media. You don't need that energy in your life. We, we don't, I have cut out people and you know what? It feels good because now I'm not worried. Like I'm not, I'm sure they're still thinking the same things <laughs> about me, but I, I'm not in that energy. I'm standing in my own power and you stand in your own power with pretty lip gloss. You can do it. <laughs> um, yeah, see, I'm glad. Listen again. I'm lucky that my family was supportive. Your family may have to get used to it, all right? They may have to warm up. It, you know, change is hard for a lot of us. Change is not always easy, okay? Change is uncomfortable, mm, like uncomfortable. But when we do it and we work through it, there is such a sense of feeling pride, feeling confident, feeling empowered and the more you try it the more you do it the more you go for it the more relaxed it becomes the more easier it becomes okay now one last thing we're saying go for all this stuff don't let them control you don't let them stand in your way here's the last thing you got to believe in you I can believe in you all day long I believe in so many of the students I get to work with right but when they have self-doubt and when they are worried, I can't convince them. Like, they got to find that within themselves. So you got to find it within yourself that you can do it. All right? Don't let the pressure of other people um, hold you back anymore. It just makes them feel good. Just don't let it. Don't, don't. I wouldn't do it. Stan is here. <laughs> He's like, woman, give me my nuts. Talk about controlling. Jeez. <laughs> he's, he's a little egomaniac, that one. <laughs> anyhow, um, anyhow, I hope that helps. I hope, you know, that gives you a little inspiration today. Thank you, Jesse. I hope that gives you a little inspiration today, a little empowerment, um, a little, a little, a little power, power move, right? Um, because, you know, I want you to be happy. I really do. I want, I want you to be happy. And the only way you're going to really be happy is if you do things that make your soul feel good. And if you have that courage to stand in your power, stand up for who you are, you know, stand up for who you are. 
No matter who's trying to knock you down. I don't care if you married them and they're trying to knock you down. You stand up for who you are. All right? Because it's you and you're a beautiful being. You're a beautiful person. And there's too many people trying to tell you you're not. And, you know, we just got to stop all that. We really, we got to stop that. If we don't start supporting one another, we're not going to have a unification. All right? He is demanding. Let me just see if he's out the... No, he's giving us some, a little privacy. Anyhow, listen. Hey, Keely. Oh, I think, I don't know if you saw that I'm going to uh, Tulsa, but I don't know if, I don't know if you saw that. Anyhow, listen. Beautiful people. I want you to have a gorgeous day. Um, I am so honored and excited that you show up each morning with me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate our talks and I appreciate our interaction. It's nice. It's nice to say, hey, we're not alone, right? We're not alone. And when you need support and when you need to feel desired, wanted, cared for, not crazy, then, you know, just come in and watch these. You know, they're up on the YouTube, so watch some replays. There are all kinds of messages. You know, maybe there's just something you're missing one day. Look through the list to see if it's there. You'd be surprised. It's on YouTube, so subscribe to the YouTube so you can just get to the playlist easy. All right? So uh, don't forget, I will talk to you tomorrow, but tomorrow night I've got Jennifer Schaefer for Vino and Voices, and we're going to take some calls, and, and I can't wait. I, I, do love, I do love the readings. <laughs> uh, Leilani, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. All right. Get out there. Go shine your light. Shine it bright and show someone you love them today. All right. Have a good day.